So how do you tell when your shoe needs replacing? Because no matter if you're a runner, tennis player, basketball player, or any other athlete where you wear a shoe that requires mesh, rubber, and foam, you're going to be putting different types of stresses and strains on the shoe. So it is kind of difficult to know when one shoe is going to wear out versus another. But luckily there are three pretty simple rules to go by to know when your shoe does really need to be replaced. Hey, what is up? It's Zach, your YouTube foot doctor. And I will tell you one of the most common reasons we see athletes coming into our office with foot pain is because they're wearing shoes that are way too old. They have bottomed out and they are no longer serving a purpose. So let's look at the three main ways you can tell when your shoe needs to go to the garbage. Now the first and probably most common way to tell when the shoe needs replaced is when the tread starts bottoming out when there's no longer any thickness. Now I usually get a lot of pushback on this because tread thickness is only a few millimeters in most cases. People say, well that's not a lot of time to wear the shoe. And does that really indicate that the rest of the shoe has gone bad? Well, I'll tell you, rubber is a lot stronger than foam. So if the rubber has been worn through and the rubber has bottomed out, chances are the foam in the midsole underneath of it has too, as well as the uppers have kind of lost their integrity too. Plus, when you're just walking on racing skids or you're running or playing tennis or basketball on racing skids, there's really nothing to give you any grip. And that's when you really start getting into issues like knee hyperextension, Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, and ankle sprains. And the second way to tell if your shoe needs replacing is really obvious midsole creasing. Now, it's not the creasing you have to look really closely at to find. It's ones that are really obvious to the naked eye from about a foot away. Now, midsole creasing are those oblique and vertical lines that are going through the midsole. It looks like someone just scrunched up the shoe. Now, this is different than the normal stamping or decoration that's on a lot of shoes. These are different. These are ones that are kind of cutting through the midsole. Now, what those lines mean or what those stress lines mean is that the shoe has lost its ability to disperse energy or reabsorb absorb energy. Because once the midsole is visibly crumpled up, that usually means that it doesn't have any more elasticity in it. It's just kind of given up and now air is getting in there and it's starting to harden. So that is going to leave your foot much more prone to more shock inducing injuries such as plantar fasciitis, Achilles sinus, knee, hip, back, spine issues. And the third way to tell if your shoe needs replacing is just to get a calculator and notebook out and start calculating mileage because a shoe is really only good for about 500 miles. Now that is based on a runner with a really consistent heel to toe gait who is dispersing energy pretty evenly throughout the shoe. Now that's going to change with someone that's playing basketball or tennis because during a basketball game, you're going to run about two and a half miles as long as you're playing full court, cut that in half, you're playing half court. And if you're playing tennis, you're going to run about three to four miles in a best of three set match if you're going all three sets. Now you can kick it up to about five to six miles if you're playing best of five and cut it in half if you're playing doubles. But remember, throughout those 500 miles, if you're playing basketball, tennis, pickleball, indoor soccer, anything, you are going to be putting a lot of abnormal stresses on the shoe. So you have to look for those other signs of wear during it. Because if you're jumping a lot, if you really jump into your shots, or you hit a lot of jump shots in basketball, you're going to crease the midsole first, probably before you hit that 500 miles. Versus if you're someone who plays pickleball and you're lunging back and forth a lot, you're going to wear out the outer or the rubber of the shoe faster than you might wear out those 500 miles. And most obvious to me as a foot doctor, but I still do get the question a lot, is what if I rub a hole in the upper of my shoe or I tear the upper of my shoe? Can I just put flex tape or shoe glue on it? And no, once the upper is torn or ripped or rubbed through, that means that it's no longer able to restrain your foot. So it means it's no longer connecting with the midsole and the outsole appropriately, and you are gonna set yourself up for a lot of sprains and strains and kind of twisting in the shoe. So make sure if the upper is gone, that just means the shoe is done. Now, if you are rubbing holes in the Upper of your shoe in places that you're not sliding, you really shouldn't be getting it. That typically means your foot is moving abnormally in the shoe, and so you're rubbing it from the inside out. A good way to prevent that is put mole skin underneath the shoe, underneath the upper in the area that you're rubbing, or get a pair of custom orthotics in there to stop your foot from moving abnormally. Now, some people, their foot is just set in a position where their knees and hips are aligned to a point where they are just going to rub a part of their shoe, and you really just have to look for shoes that are more durable and just know that you're probably going to wear out shoes faster than some others, even even with the techniques and the little tips that I've just given. But of course, I'd love to know if you have any tips or tricks on when you know that you need to replace your shoes. Let me know in the comments down below. We can get the conversation going in the community. Otherwise, if you want to see my other shoe customization videos, click into the playlist up above. I'll see you in the next video.